You know how they always tell you to never meet your heroes? Well, for these celebs, it's 100% true. Because the level of disrespect they've shown in their careers would even surprise Voldemort. And that's saying something. So let's spill the tea about them, shall we? Starting with Christian Bale. What? Batman? Rude? No! But sadly, it's true. Because my boy Bale here once had a volcanic breakdown on a film set that I don't think I'd be happy to experience at all. The year was 2009. The film was Terminator Salvation. And the poor target in question was the cinematographer Shane Hurlbut, whose butt was thoroughly handed to him by Bale after a very long day of shooting. In a leaked audio recording, yell obscenity after obscenity at the guy, all because he apparently walked in front of the camera while the scene was being shot. Well, who hasn't had a bad work day in their lives? And Bale did apologize publicly afterward, saying he had acted like a punk and was way out of order. But to tell a guy he was trashing the scene and that he won't walk on this set if you're still hired is pretty harsh. Although, I know of another actor whose outburst was worse than what Bale could ever hand out. And it happened on the set of Grey's Anatomy, with the star being none other than Katherine Heigl, who got pretty upset with an extra and decided to humiliate them on the spot. So what happened to cause this unfounded meltdown? It was just the beginning of Grey's run as a TV show. And at that time, extras were supposed to bring their own wardrobe options. Now, the extra in question had done exactly that and brought in a backpack, which he'd apparently set down in front of the wardrobe trailer, out of which came our star, who saw the bag and proceeded to raise hell, going as far as to read the riot act to the extra and reminding him how inconsiderate he was. According to the extra, everyone looked embarrassed, and it was just one of those moments when you realize that stars, they're not always cut out to be great people, even if they pretend to be just that. Just like James Corden, now, look, I never had any personal beef with the guy. In fact, I even liked some of his interviews and those carpool karaoke's, which I recently found out were all staged, by the way. But even that I was fine with, until he went out there and disrespected Sir Patrick Stewart. Can you imagine anyone doing that? I can't. Although, in Corden's defense, he was put on the spot by Sir Patrick. But hey, my judgment of him isn't based on this incident alone. There's also that time when he was hosting the AMFR Gala in Los Angeles, where, while hosting the event, he made some jokes about Harvey Weinstein that literally had the crowd groaning. A woman even shouted, oh, come on, during his presenter's speech. And if that isn't a cue to stop and reassess your humor choices, I don't know what is. Horton did apologize for the event, but that's just one apology in the line of many he's had to make. For what, you ask? screaming at busboys, abusing restaurant staff, and going as far as to call the complaints beneath him when he was called out for his behavior. Knowing all this, at least I won't be giving him any Model Citizen Awards anytime soon. But while James isn't setting any examples for great behavior, at least he is passably okay. Sadly, I can't say the same for Edward Norton. Yeah, the same guy y'all keep pitching for Hulk. Sadly, he's probably more like the Hulk than Dr. Bruce Banner. Or at least, he acted a lot like him during his brief stint with Marvel. Because after he was replaced by Mark Ruffalo, Kevin Feige released a statement stating that there was a significant lack of collaborative spirit on his end. And that apparently, Norton wasn't as passionate about the role as the rest of the ensemble. Does anyone else think this is sweet talk for calling Norton a difficult guy? Yeah. No wonder he played the jerk in Glass Onion so well. He's that guy in real life too. But is he known for throwing phones at hotel employees? No, he isn't. Do you know who is though? Russell Crowe. Yep, the Aussie actor's reputation really isn't good in the industry. And almost everyone knows how violent he can be. In fact, the phone incident almost got him into jail, which he avoided by settling out of court. Oops. Can't blame anyone for the almost lawsuit. I'd have pressed charges too. And that's not the only time he acted like a prick. Another incident involving him was when he was forcibly removed from Azalea Banks' party. Can you guess why? More violence. 
sprinkled with some racist language directed at banks. Yeah, that's not even close to being stellar. And I think Russell really needs to rethink his life choices at this point. And so should JLo, whose stories of general meanness are a thing on Twitter and TikTok. No, really. In fact, there was this one time last year when people just couldn't stop sharing moments of JLo being, well, an embarrassment to herself. Did you know that there was this one time when after Mark Anthony won at a big casino and tipped a cocktail waitress a thousand dollars, JLo actually stopped her, took the money and gave her 10 bucks in return? Yep, 10, in replacement of a thousand. Luckily, Mark saw her and scolded her in front of everyone and returned the waitress her money. In fact, there are multiple versions of this story and JLo always comes out as the villain. The funniest part is people started calling her Palo after this and other incidents. Oh, and if you think she's just stingy, that's not true. Because another time, when she was auditioning backup dancers for her tour, she asked everyone if there were any Virgos around and proceeded to dismiss whoever raised their hand. Oh, Jennifer, you make us Leos ashamed. But can she or everyone else on my list ever hold a candle to the most disrespectful celeb of all time? Nah, because Ellen DeGeneres' behavior has a class of its own. From workplace toxicity to bullying and downright abuse, Ellen's name will probably come up in every rude and disrespectful celebrities list on Google. And that's just sad, because look at how much the people loved her. Why'd you have to let us all down like that? Anyway, it all started when BuzzFeed published an expose describing the ways Ellen's show's employees were discriminated against and how the behavior behind the camera was totally different from the brand they were building in front of it. It talked about how the show's management was racist, how team members were fired after they took time off to tend to family emergencies, and how they weren't given any info about their pay or working hours during the pandemic. Talk about toxic workplaces. Sadly though, Ellen's show didn't just mistreat its employees, but also their guests whose stories when I first heard them were super frustrating. Like that time when she outed Mariah Carey's pregnancy on the show without her approval. Or when she mocked the painting of herself in Portia that an audience member so lovingly made. She was also always calling the audience members idiots and whatnot. Making me think that if I had been a member there and had been called crazy, I'd have a pie or two ready to hurl down the stage. But anyway, her show ended and the world received some closure. Although, I have a feeling she may return with some more drama sometime soon. That's all the root celebs I have for today. Till then, adios.